Finding databases. This video is part of a two-part series. Part 1 explains what a research database is. Part 2 will explain the benefits of searching databases individually and the options for how to find them. To understand what a research database is, which you may have never used, let's take a look at some other types of databases that most people use every day. Very basically, a database is a collection of stuff, which you can access by searching the database iTunes and Spotify contain a database of songs. Netflix contains a database of videos. Amazon's Kindle Store contains a database of ebooks. You can even think of Google or Bing as a database, a database of websites. But in the best case scenarios, while Google can help you find out if websites like iTunes, Netflix, or Amazon have the song, movie, or ebook you're looking for, it does not provide direct access to them. You have to pay for access. So here's the problem. In the world of high quality, authoritative information, the type of info you should be using in your research, like academic journals and books, professional magazines, educational videos, industry reports, etc., information is rarely free. High quality equals high value, after all. So frequently you'll hit a paywall when you're Googling for information. Here's where libraries come in. Take a look at our library homepage you'll notice a large search box. This searches various databases of books, videos, articles from journals, magazines, newspapers, and other stuff. The search box acts like Google or Bing, but from this search box, you'll find stuff you can't get from searching Google or Bing, or not for free anyway. This search tool provides access to high quality, authoritative sources that usually people have to pay for, but you can have access to for free because you're a student of the college. Great! End of tutorial, right? Why go further? Well, even though it's a massive search tool and convenient and just basically awesome, this search tool doesn't even search all databases available to you through the library. There's a lot of content you won't find when searching it. Why doesn't it search everything, you ask? We'd make everything accessible with one search box if we could, but because of the multitude of types of sources, usage licenses, rights of the copyright owners, and the competing interests of the various companies involved that produce and sell the databases, making a search of every one of our databases together is just plain impossible. And so, it's also very important to know how to find and search databases individually, which is what we will cover in part two of this Finding Database tutorial series.